Today's Bible study is titled, Come Unto the Knowledge of the Truth. Do you ever wonder what God would have us consider and request when we pray? Not the wish list thinking of so many for stuff, but the things that God says are prayer worthy. Well, wonder no more, for Christ instructed our apostle with some specifics. I exhort therefore that first of all supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men for kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. 1 Timothy 2 verses 1 to 4. Let's take a closer look at what is being said here. Breaking down the prayer request portion of this, we get first of all that supplications, petition and earnest request, prayers, intercessions, mediation and interposition, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority. And note that this prayer unto God is for all men, for kings, those who rule on earth, and further for those that are in authority, government, Does this sound like the prayer list of the average believer? Probably not. And why do you think God would have us pray in this manner on behalf of these? One need only continue to read and find that this type of prayer for all men, kings and authorities is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. And the reason for this is that number one God would have all men to be saved and number two God would once saved Have all men come unto the knowledge of the truth. Evangelical churches do okay if they identify 1 Corinthians 15 verse 3 verses 4 at delivering the gospel of the death, burial and resurrection of Christ according to the scriptures in such a way that people may come to simple belief and salvation. But what about having all men come unto the knowledge of the truth? That's the activity where the church of today seems to run a wheel off in the ditch. For most either don't address doctrine of the truths of scripture at all or else focus on making believers. Come to a knowledge of their particular church dogma as contrasted to Bible doctrine truth. For such knowledge requires a knowledge of the truths of scripture, rightly divided. And it is pretty obvious this isn't getting done very well since the average believer today is Bible illiterate. We should remember this instruction, consider adjusting how and what we pray and continue to share the gospel. But don't stop there. For unless the church helps believers come to the knowledge of the truths after salvation, just how will the truth continue to another generation? The Apostle Paul addresses this in 2 Timothy 2 verse 2, stating, And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also. So, a question I frequently ask those with whom I share is, who are you teaching or who are your faithful men? For if you are a student of the word, you should, if possible, have a teacher, if one who understands right division is available, and have one or more learners, with whom the student of the word is sharing what he's learned. This is very important to you for the reasons listed above but also because you aren't really learning and making what you've learned yours until you are able to articulate what you've learned to someone else. Believer, help others come to the knowledge of the truth. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.